the NBA Live series, although it's had its ups and downs, uh, has been around for a, a long time now. In fact, uh, 20 years or a little bit longer, actually. And we've just tipped off our 20th anniversary of NBA Live content on the NLSC, which has been a fun uh, look back for, for me. And we've got a lot more content to go. And uh, and you've been around the series for a long time as well. Uh, before, as we um, as I mentioned, you're a, a cheat code in NBA Live 97. Uh, we can get <laughs> we can get to play your likeness in there or... Um, a fantasy likeness, perhaps. Um, <laughs> Somewhat exaggerated, but, uh, right? <laughs> well, we we have met in person. Uh, you, you're not a six ten power forward who dunks uh, every every time, but you know. You... <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've shrunk over the years, Andrew. <laughs> oh, but, you know, ha- yeah. haven't we all? <laughs> but uh, but uh, yeah, just thought I'd get. Um, just wondered if you had any thoughts on on the on the anniversary, of course, and uh, maybe a, a quick story to to tell or some reflections as you. Uh, uh, look, not only look forward, but also look back at uh, some of the great moments that lives had because it was the game that I and a lot of other people uh, grew up with as the NBA sim. Yeah, for sure. For for me especially, you know, you mentioned you know being a, a cheat code in '97, and that was a result of you know being um, you know where I went to college was literally a mile away from the you know the old uh, EA building in Burnaby, uh, British Columbia, Canada, and so I went. To, I played basketball. I went to college at a school called Simon Fraser University, which is you know it's a NCAA Division two school, um, and it's actually it's the only NCAA school outside of the outside of the U.S. But my coach had a very good relationship with some of the people over there making um, at the time our you know the NBA game and you know and even Coach K at that time too. And so as, as players, um, you know, in my, I guess my, my junior and senior years, we used to go over there and just play the game in development, similar, um, and, and much less refined to the, you know, your experience that you had, we would just go in and as basketball players and cause these guys were just, you have to remember, this is like, you know, the 1994, 1995. And so the, the guys making the game, um, were game developers, um, and there was not a whole lot of basketball expertise. They were they were fans of the game um, to a certain extent, but there was not a lot of expertise there. And so they'd just bring us in just for like a, a general first impression on, you know, from a basketball standpoint, what do you guys see? Like, is there any sort of uh, abnora- uh, abnormal- abnormalities or anything? Or is there just any bizarre behaviors that you're seeing? Um, and so we would do that and give them some feedback. And it was cool. And, um, you know, I used to, I used to sort of, uh, grow up taking you know quarters from my parents to go play Galaga at the Donair shop uh, near my house. So you know I was I was one of the kids who you know who ended up who liked playing games had a bunch of handheld games growing up and um, you know playing on my Commodore sixty four and so there was for me there was a certain sort of um, interest in games but I never really thought about this becoming a job for me but you know after my senior year um, in that spring. Myself and my point guard got asked to um, do something that was new to us. And it was called motion capture. And so, you know, we were the first motion capture talent for NBA Live 97. And uh, just thinking back on that experience, what that looked like in 1996 versus what we're doing, you know, right now and in, in the year 2015. And when I think of the the capture space that we used in the hoop and, you know, they had us like literally doing chalk outlines of our feet and everything that we did, if we did a jump shot or a layup, we'd have to like come back to the exact same spot. And, you know, if we didn't get, you know, if we were off by like a toe or uh, they didn't make us do it again and just how long and grueling those days were and paying us, <laughs> wow. paying us $8 yeah. an hour and like literally the size of the motion capture volume that we were, the cameras were working and there must've been like four cameras at the time, um, you know, was the size of shoot half half of a basketball key, and so it was super tight and tiny, and we couldn't do very much. And then I look at what we're doing today with you know dozens and dozens of cameras in a space that's you know the the size of two thirds of an NBA court. Um, you know, with NBA talent coming in, or you know, or D League guys coming in and competing, and um, and then the data that we're getting for our game, and just how much we've evolved in the time that I've been, you know, when I was first introduced into the industry to you know where you know where uh, we are today. It's just incredible to see um, the jumps in in how we make games and and how much um, technology has helped us provide 
you know, a real realistic environment and, you know, how big the teams are now and just the challenges that we have. And, um, you know, it's, it's a pretty cool thought to go back to, um, you know, just visualizing myself and, um, you know, my point guard, Novell Thomas, and the two of us doing that and how, how random and a random of an experience it was, um, to where it's sort of, you know, where it's led to and the experiences along the way. And, um, I think, I think that's been a, a pretty cool thing. And, and, and to your point too, like we've had, you know, we've had some amazing, um, NBA live games and an amazing run up until, you know, gen three, when EA sports just really kind of crap the bed. And, you know, that, that's super disappointing for me personally, as someone who's, you know, invested a lot in both the NBA live brand and our, our NCAA March Madness brand, um, and put a lot of time and, and, and been friends with so many people that, um, that have along the way done the same thing. And so I've said it before, and it was really the primary motivator for me to come back to EA and to, uh, and to move my family to Orlando to try to right this ship a little bit. And, um, I'm very, I'm very honest in saying it hasn't been easy and it's been extremely difficult, but I'm also, um, I'm also really proud of where we've got to today based on where we were. Um, and I think that, uh, I'm super excited about the team that we have and the product that we have now that our heads are above water and we can really look around and start building the game that's, you know, that's in our heads um, and start showing players that. And, and I'm, I'm, when I, when I talk about what we're planning on doing next year and what we're planning on doing for 18 and what that, you know, the two year story looks for us, for us, like uh, right now, it's, it's, it's super exciting. And what I'm most excited about is just to see, you know, those, the OGs of live that used to, um, play that game um, back in the day and sort of where it lost its way and then went to 2K and or just sort of don't play basketball games anymore um, to bring that back for them and then to introduce new fans to uh, the things that we're doing is, is super exciting for me personally.